is also right now the concept of stride and padding when you apply the convolutional on image image gets strings image strings as we keep on applying the convolutional convolutional operation here is a solution to ensure that not to lose any of the information giving the image we use the concept called concept called padding concept called padding so here we have used the padding we have used padding so we just add one more layer so this is we can see how the essential shape of the image retained after the padding with zeros now what is the formula here n plus 2p minus f plus 1 okay what is the initial one 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 plus 2 into 1 1 padding right minus this is what 3 by 3 right so 1 what is this It remained six by six, right? So my uh, my entire image got transformed into my six by six is been reflected to six by six. This formula is fine, everyone. Let me it out here. This is also known as called same padding, which meaning of that we consider only the valid pixels of the input. The middle 4.4 should be the same. Here we have retained the more information from the borders and also pre preserve the size of the image. This is called, we call this is a padding. Okay. And here, here what you observed Satya, these pixels are, this is 18, this is 54, 51, 23, 244 and 188. What is happening here? We got some different values. Yeah. Yes. Did you got the doubt? Why the why why it's so? Yeah, I was thinking, I mean, why the pixel size is different. Huh. Because when you do the convolutional operation to it, this let us say 18, 54. Now we have a zero, right? Now we need to consider this also. This will be placed in this one, in the first border. This will each was multiplied with the corresponding two weights. Now 0 into 1 less, right? Again 0 into 0 plus, again 1 into 0, 18, 0 into 0 plus 18 into 1 plus 54 into 0. So 121 into 1. So 121 plus 18 we got 139 you got the value of 139 that's how we will run this for next will be next three next will be next three that how my image will be scanned for future extraction this will be stored this is called feature map Is this fine? So you are telling every three cross three will be multiplied by the weight and I mean ah. the weight matrix and then the final will be derived. No, 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 not weight matrix. It's a given input image. This is input image, right? No, no, that's what I mean. From the input image, the three mm. cross three will mm. be multiplied with the entire the weight and uh, came up with single value, right? Single values. Right. Now you see. 
the padding when you apply the convolutional on image it gets shrinks here the solution the it will the drastic reduction in the feature map direction unable to build a deeper network and the loss of the information at the edges so what will be happen the padding will be zero if it is padding will be zero i'll i can say if you wanted to if you wanted to here there is some one more formula called padding equal to zero and padding equal to f minus one by two okay so if i have a filter size of three so i'll use padding of one i'm using the filter size is three satya so i can use how much one padding so that it will give the exact image shweta are you are you getting this point if i have padding of filter of five by five what is the padding should i apply this is called valid equal to same when i use valid equal to same this is the operation will perform internally if i have a 5 by 5 5 minus 1 by 2 so 4 by 2 i have the two pixels now let us say we will see that example Veta, if now you are saying clear after the session, if you say, sir, I didn't understand deep learning, I will kill you seriously. Now, let us assume I have a, let us take 10 by 10 image. I have a filter size of 5 by 5. What is my output? Tell me. What is the output? Then six cross six, six cross six, right? N minus F plus one, N minus F plus one, right? So ten minus five plus one, six cross six. So, if I wanted to bring it back to 10 by 10, so what, how many fill, how many padding should I apply? Padding equal to n minus f minus 1 by 2, right? 5 minus 1 by 2, it is enough. 2. So, when you are applying a padding, so n plus 2p minus f plus 1. Now is it being is it, is it uh, coming ten by ten? So ten plus two into two minus five plus one forty plus one fifty ten ten by ten. When you are applying valid equal to same. So, because I am applying the, when you are using the valid equal to same, you are retaining the same image, 10 by 10. Correct? Sathya, is it fine? Yeah. Now, now let us say, if I, let us, I have a 10 by 10 image, I will be convolving with 7 by 7, 7 by 7 filter. What will happen now? Padding. Padding. I will tell the, now I will explain you why we won't use the even filters. So what will be the padding to retain the same image? Padding will be 6 by 2, which is 3, right? Upon 10, 
plus 6 minus 7 plus 1. This is what uh, this 7 7 gets cancelled. So I got 10 by 10. Clear? So your odd filters is able to bring back your original dimensions. Right? Now let us go back to other the way. This is what very carefully you need to understand. Satya, you got this point, right? 5 by 5 and 7 by 7, right? Uh, yes, yeah, the odd filter, you mean, uh, I don't understand the odd filter. Okay. Odd filter means this is the odd number, right? 7 by 7. Yeah, that is true. Even the 5 by 5 also the odd one, right? Uh, yeah. Odd one only, right? Uh, we, we, now we have seen with the odd number so that we got able to retain the same image, right? Okay, okay, okay. We will go and apply the even number. So, the most of the papers and we won't use even numbers. The reason I'll explain you. You might have got the doubt that why we can't use the even number, right? Now, let us imagine I have a 6 by 6 image. When you are applying the 2 by 2. So, what will be the image data? n minus f plus 1. So, I am getting 5 by 5, right? 5 by 5 or not? Now, if I wanted to bring back to the 6 by 6, I have what is the formula? n minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. 1 by 2. Padding equal to 1 by 2, right? So, what is the formula now? n plus 2p minus f plus 1. So, n minus 2 into 1 by 2. n is 6, right? This gets cancelled. Minus f equal to 2 plus 1. Now, 6 minus 6 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 again this also giving me am i getting 6 by 6 no it's 2p right 6 Sorry? plus it's 2p right huh? and 6 plus 2 right Sorry. no the formula is plus 2p right so huh? for the party did you apply the padding here? Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. You applied the padding as one. So it should be two, right? Six plus two, right? No, no, no. My padding will be what is this? N minus one by two, right? N is equal to two minus one by two. Two minus one by two is one by two, right? Six. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Two into one by two minus two plus one. So this two, two gets cancelled. Six plus one minus two plus one. So this two days guys, I have six by six. Fair enough. Now, now we have four by four. Let us assume four by four. Four minus one. Now you see. Four minus one. It's a three by two. Now what will happen? Six plus two into three by two minus what is this? 4 plus 1. This 2, 2 gets cancelled. What will happen now? 9. 6 plus 3. Minus 4 plus 4. Okay. Okay. So you can also use two by two even filters or also odd filters. I'll tell you the reason why. So even filters and odd filters also you're giving the six by six only, right? Satya? Prasad Garu? Yeah. 
So it is giving that I have the re- I'll tell you the reason why we can't use the even filters. Sir, it is eight by eight matrix. Sorry. Eight by eight by eight. Eight by eight will make the difference. No. No, sir. For this one, the answer is not six by six. Sir, eight by eight. Ah, even though we, there won't make any difference. Okay, we will see. Okay. Ah. Huh. The feature extractions here image the grayscale image we apply the filter see so but the one can apply one filter but how to apply one point five filter where Prasad Gar where is one point five filter question hmm. is a p is good p uh, padding is good Three by two, right? So one one means one one layer will be up. Uh, one layer will. Be one point so, five means how? Ah, uh, that was the one of the re- here. Like we cannot add one point five here. Yeah, yeah. So that was the reason that we will not use the even filters. It may give the result, but it's not that accurate. We are adding one padding of zeros, or a two padding of zeros, or three padding of zeros. We cannot add one point five padding. The formula may be good, but we cannot add. Yeah. So now you can see the filter. This is what my grayscale image. I am applying the filter to it. how this transforming here we are we have the filters vertical filters horizontal filters so it is in a 3 by 3 matrix vertical filter means 101 Zero 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 one zero one. This is called a vertical filter. This how my image get detected. This how my features got extracted. After after applying the convolutional on the image with the filter, this is what we get. And we have called horizontal filter. One zero one one zero 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 one. Minus one, na something. Okay, one second. Ah, minus one. Here, this is called vertical filter. This is called horizontal filter. So, how do you say it is vertical or horizontal? It is because of the minus one yes. in the horizontal. Okay. Yes. Whether we can do normally, see when you are, we can we 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 can see this position, right? So, this values which we are detecting the features, extracting the feature values in vertical lines. Now you see. Satya, now you see the filters how it works. I have a filter. The first thing is we are convolving in the first three. Can you see? This thirty-six into minus one, thirty-one into zero, and twenty-eight into one plus thirty-eight into one minus one. Ha, huh. thirty-eight into minus one. Here, yeah, this is the minus one, right? We have a if you can understand this convolutional seriously, you you can answer everything for your deep learning. You get the most of the answers. Now, thirty-six multiplied by one, 
थर्टी वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जीरो ट्वेंटी एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन थर्टी एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई अगेन माइनस वन थर्टी फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जीरो एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन थर्टी नाइन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई माइनस वन थर्टी फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जीरो थर्टी टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन सो वाट विल हेपन इट इज जनरेट द फ्यूचर मैप नाउ इट इज वॉट नाउ यू सी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एट बाई एट इज कन्वॉल्विंग विथ थ्री बाई थ्री सो माई फ्यूचर मैप विल बी एट एट What is the my convolutional? N minus f plus one. Eight minus three plus one. Nine minus three is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six by six matrix. Satya, are you able to understand? Yes or no? Yeah. Now you see. I am moving into the next stride. This is called a stride. The so something called stride. Write on the notes of a stride. It is in a process of extracting the information. Extracting the information, like scanning of a speed of a scan. What we can say? speed of scanning of input image for future extraction future extraction so we are going with one by one stride this is called one stride how fast you scan the data from a given image now i have the one now i coming to the next line next i will go next i will go with like this now where are we we do operation of everything on the now there is a one more formula here for stride what will happen of the resulting of a map when when we are applying the stride so my formula will be n minus f plus 1 by 2s into n minus f plus 1 by 2s prasad sir this is the formula correct I am not sure on this one. Navin, this formula is the correct only, right? What is this formula for? If you have it, stride of two. Mm -hmm. One second, one second. How image convolution will happen? The stride, I don't understand. One second, one second, and. sorry so now
you didn't understand this let's try it right we are coming to satya so when uh, when we are we are doing convolutional operation that mean we are scanning entire image if basically the default will be the default stride is one so how it will be let us take this image of we will go with okay so 4 by 4 3 by 3 what will be happening now 4 minus 3 plus 1 it's like 5 minus 3 it's a 2 by 2 matrix now satya now you see here now my first will be this way here this column and this column i have because i have a 2 by 2 this will be over overlaid sorry 1 2 3 right my first operation will be on doing this one and i am getting the value of x value so next will be shifting to this i'll be wait Okay, five by five. I'll be resulting what three by three. Right now, first will be first operation. Now, first it will it will this this convolutional. will be here 1 2 3 first will be this one i'll get x value next will be this was the first for second operation i'll take other color it starts from this 3 i got a second value X two, X one. For the next, it will be placing here one, two, three. I'll get the values. So I have X three value. next one i'll come to this line this three like this it will scan x4 x5 x6 x7 x8 x9 this is called stride of one so 
so you are leaving one column at a time and you are reading the next one satya is it making sense so you are scanning the data like this uh, i mean no uh, you are telling first column is always the left and uh, the remaining you are reading no 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 first also we are reading with black right first one one operation is done then we are coming to the next slide the slide was here one slide slide means one column we are leaving slide equal to 1 now let us see when you have a slide equal to 2 what will happen we read this one right so we leave two things then we can read only this three slide of 2 so it will happen your system able to read very faster when you have a slide of thing the formula changes now you see i have a slide of 2 i am reading two two times at a go from here we started right from here we started here we started so we are applying here 7 by 7 it is reflecting the 3 by 3 here basically what will happen if you have a 7 by 7 if it is 3 by 3 what is what my value i'll be getting side of 1 what is my output 7 minus 3 plus 1 it is 8 minus 3 is a 5 by 5 matrix now when i apply my stride equal to 2 my formula bit changes this way n plus 2p minus f by s plus 1 plus 1 yes n plus 2p minus 1 yes into s plus so when i apply the padding of side of 2 side equal to 2 here when i are do, doing the 7 by 7 3 by 3 side of 2 now now what will be happening here 7 minus 3 no padding here zero padding here so i'll be getting 3 by 3 matrix now 5 by 5 has got reduced to 3 by 3 3 by 3 matrix. Okay, whatever we got after this convolutional, we generated the 3 by 3 matrix. These are called important features. Important features. From here, there is a one more operation we perform. that is called pooling what is pooling prasad what is the pooling now we have taken the Seven by seven, we are done with three by three. We got. Let us assume that uh, seven minus one, five by five matters. Out of it, we will take the important features again. From here, we are been filtering it. We are filtering the features by applying pooling option. In pooling, we have the A couple of options. One is max pooling. Another one is average pooling. Where we take the, let us say, I have the four values here, two by two matrix. I will take the this maximum value. 
it becomes this is one becomes what white right so 226 becomes 225 becomes very dark that's how we will choose the values by using max pooling or average pooling we choose max pooling or average pooling see here the pooling layer then added to the features to reduce the number of parameters we wanted to reduce the number of parameters see the typically convolutional layers have the convolutional layer pooling pooling and fully connected layers now you see here in this function 1329 2122 1356 2312 so i'll be getting the i'll be getting the 2 by 2 now I am going back to my older one, older discussion now. Now, what are the operations we are performing? Convolutional. When we are convolving the image with filter we are getting features and these features will the convolutional operator will get the shrink shrinkage of image shrinkage of image my padding will help me to shrinkage image padding will help the shrinkage no 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 okay padding will help to retain the image Yes, yes, retain, retaining. Huh. And here we have seen the stride option. Stride is to how fast you are able to convert. Yes. So this stride comes into where it's a your convolutional part. And max pooling after generating the features from a convolutional. We are adding max pooling layer to down sample the data. Down sample the data. So again, we are selecting the maximum, the important features. Then we connect this entire process that is called fully connected layers. That is, these are the major operations in convolutional. Navin, anything missed? Uh, yes, sir. What is After pooling, we need to add a dropout. That that we can see. That we can see later. Okay, sir. That that we can see the. When we are performing the neural network, when it suffers the this one, right? Overfitting and underfitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah sir. Okay? okay. This yes, is sir. the basic concept, right? Okay, okay, sir. Pra Prasad, are you able to understand this one? Convolution. What is the first part? Can you tell me? Again? Fully connected. So we are connecting the, all the layers. Okay, now, when you are tied up this everything into max pooling, then we, we are we having the fully connected layer where we we make this as a single vector the output we are making it as a after convolutional convolutional pooling layer this is called fully connected layers Can you read it? We pass an input image to the first convolution layer. The convolved output is obtained as an activation map. Mm. The features applied in the convolution layer extract relevant features from the input image to pass further. Mm. 
each filter can give a different feature to aid the correct class prediction. In case we need to retain the size of the image, mm. we use same padding. Otherwise, mm. valid padding is used since it helps to reduce the number of features. Mm. Pooling layers are then added to further reduce the number of parameters. Yes. Several convolution and pooling layers are added before the image is made, mm. in, before the prediction is made. Mm. Convolution layer help in extracting features. As we go deeper in network, more specific features are extracted as compared to a shallow network where the features extracted are more general. Mm. The output layer is a CNN, as mentioned previously, is a fully connected layer mm. where the input from the other layers is flattened and sent so as the transform the output into a number of classes as desired by the network. Mm. The output is then generated through output layer and is compared to the output layer for error generation. Mm. A loss function is defined in the fully connected output layer to compute the mean square loss. Mm. The gradient of error is then calculated. Okay. The error is then back propagated to update the filter and bias mm. values. Once training cycle is completed, in a single forward and backward pass. Backward pass. Backward. Backward. Right. Right. Uh, Satya, any doubt here? Uh, no, but I mean, uh, we'll be discussing about pooling, right? Pooling is that you are taking the maximum values out of it from there. The reduce the uh, reduces the sizes what will happen it will speed up the competition and make some of them are detected as speed more robust here i have the this one i have a four by four i was i even i'm downsampling it with important features of two by two that meaning of that you are being utilizing the proper uh, values which is important Okay. That is what the pooling operation. Fine now, understood? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. Now, what we will do, we will see some basic operations of convolution. So I'm just performing some basic operations on image by using the, here we are going to perform the operations such as convolutional, pooling layer and everything, max pooling. So this is what we wanted to do, right? 
and we wanted to use stride. We wanted to use the strides. So whatever we have done, we have discussed, we are going to do it in like practical today. So I'm reading the image now. So I wore it. SK image is a package, psychic image. SK image stands for psychic image. Now I will show you the image. This is what my image. So if we wanted to go, if you want to remove this matplotlib access and everything, just use the colon here. That will go off. Sometimes we get this irritating us. What is this? We are having the matplotlib and everything. So use it. Semicolon. Semicolon here so that it will be like clear. I have image size of 680 by 608. 680 by 608. Now we are converting to to feed the image to TensorFlow operation. We need to we need to convert into the TensorFlow. Tensor means what? It's a three-dimensional. Vector formation. Sorry? Vector, vector formation. Vector formation. We we were forming a vector formation here. So you, you will see right image formation. So wherever this black it will be like my values will be starting from I told you right. It will be like 0 to 225. 255. 255. Yeah, 255. I have the two, 256 uh, variations of a pixel intensive. Right. So the most of TensorFlow operations will be having breadth, height, width, and depth. So we have the four dimensions, so we are we are adding the we are expanding the dimension to fourth dimension. Now I will 